person definitely was laying here for a while. Um, I don't know which way they got dragged. Maybe th I guess this way, because if... Fuck hell. Tree. What the fuck was that? Sounds get me so bad in games. I don't like this. Health packs and batteries would be key. Oh God! What the fuck? are getting freakier by the second. Oh. Who the fuck is this guy? Fuck. That makes sense. Morse code. <laughs> Fortunately, not Morse code. I think it was this way. Aha. Uh -huh. It's away. Jesus Christ! Holy fuck! You brought back one of those fucking abandoned. Robert Kuftin. Well, let's see. We have on the bags who's on first, what's on second, I don't know is on third. Costello, that's what I want to find out. Abbott, I say who's on first, what's on second, I don't know's on third. Fuck. Costello, are you the manager? Abbott, yeah. Go. Coming, kitty. Another talisman. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to be possible. I don't even know. I mean, do I know what a demon heart looks like? I have an idea. Oh, it's time, baby. Stop whispering sweet nothings into my ear, please. That's the way out. <laughs> Motherfucker, I have checked my surroundings. They ain't shit. Aha! Oh my god! like a frog and saying ribbit ribbit slur every other sentence yeah what do you mean no one says the g word <laughs> i've never heard of there's no way you guys are helpful
Spin time. Spin time? Well, you missed that, dude. Demon actually reminded me at the right time. God damn. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, my word. You rat. Oh, you f sugar. Sugar. Oh, yeah, sugar. Batteries, though. All right. We're about to find fucking demon hearts down here. Oh, boy. This way. I hit the wrong fucking button and wasted another battery. Holy fuck, dude. Dude is. No, you're here. Did these fucking things get all reset? Oh, he's right there. Oh my god! I thought he was right behind me. What the f what? Oh, okay, never mind. So it does get staticky. I just never noticed before. Cool. Love that. For me. Oh my god! <laughs> Did I get it? Oh shit, okay, that's who. You ain't shit, bitch. All right, now, where was I? Okay. Okay. I can't actually do anything with the door. I guess we'll just backtrack. Hopefully I can remember where I'm going. <laughs> Dad, come on, man. That dude went by on roll with the nuclear one. Uh, the one at the end. Oh, I gotta fucking. There we go. Now that, in turn, <gasps> my hand was not on the fucking mouse. Holy shit, dude. What the fuck is that? I mean, it should be. <laughs> oh, I think I just gave myself the fucking hiccups. Oh, no. It's gonna be an interesting stream. Welcome in. Hello, everybody. Welcome in. Hope you've been doing fantastic. It's been a hot minute. Um, our last stream was Tuesday. I think it's been exactly a week. 
It was, uh, that was a while. <laughs> uh, well, welcome in, everybody. Hope you've been doing good over the last week, long weekend, whatever you want to call it. Um, I had a fantastic birthday trip up to uh, Bellingham, Massachusetts, and uh, stayed at a campground up there. Uh, just Amanda and I, uh, we had a great, great long weekend just hanging out, um, drank a lot, I smoked a lot, and uh, it was a nice mental reset that uh, we both definitely needed with our respective jobs and whatnot. <laughs> Thank you, Click and Cat. Yo, Mental, what's up, my dude? How you doing? Welcome in. I bet I was too busy focusing on getting back and all of a sudden something just popped up and then late, later it hit me. Yeah. Yeah, that Subnautica is, if you don't like Deep Sea, it's, the game's gonna scare the shit out of you. Like the shirt? Oh, dude, yeah, it's the, it's the Yoda one. <laughs> and the back of it says, um, uh, uh, oh, uh, our young we eat, as opposed to we eat our young, because, you know, Yoda talk and all that. Uh, but I got this one, and then, ironically, my wife is wearing, right now, the long sleeve, um, which is, like, it's like the Cal Decapitation logo, but it's in, like, the yellow Star Wars scrolling font text, and it's, it's Earth, but it's also the Death Star, too. It's really fucking cool. It's very silly, yeah. They made a bunch of, like, fucking goofy-ass Star Wars merch for May the 4th, and I was like, Because <laughs> the other... Ca I have Cal Decapitation gym shorts that I occasionally wear when I, like, do, like, like my lawn mowing and whatnot. But there was, um... What was the other, uh... I thought I have another piece of merch of theirs. Oh, it's an old t-shirt. It definitely doesn't fucking fit me anymore. Um, but it's an old one from right as the Harvest Floor album was coming out. So probably 2007, 2008. Probably 2008. That sounds better. Um, but yeah, it was uh, it was back when like their, their old bassist, like the bald dude with the red beard was still in the band. And Travis had short hair and no facial hair. Um, and it's just, uh, it's the band at the time disemboweling, um, an emo kid that has a My Chemical Romance t-shirt on, and the back of it says gore, not core. It's so fucking funny. Even you like Deep Sea, it still does. Love anglerfish, just not when they're popping out of nowhere. Yeah, no shit. Have you grabbed an official bro job butt plug? Is that legitimately... That's amazing. I have not. That is fucking hilarious. <laughs> I'm not going to look at that on stream, but I am going to look at that later. Oh my god. Um, I'm not going to have any beer tonight because I had plenty. Let's put it that way. So I'm going to take a night off tonight. We're uh, going to be drinking some Market Basket brand seltzer. Ooh. So I'm hydrating and feel like I'm drinking a soda. Cheers. Ow. Uh. <clears throat> uh, okay, so let's talk about this week. This week, we're uh, back to a three-day week. It is a little weird because we were supposed to stream last night, not tonight. Uh, I was fucking dead yesterday. Um, and when I got back from uh, Die Trump Die's house last night, I was like, I'm so glad I canceled stream tonight. I hung out with Heavy for a bit and like felt myself get more and more tired. Uh, but yeah, I, uh, I slept like a baby last night. Let's put it that way. Uh, so um, tonight we are going to be playing the game at Tony's, which apparently is a... Uh, pizzeria simulator, but with a horror twist to it. So I'm interested to see what, what happens here. Uh, I've heard good things about the game, and it was like, I think it was like four bucks, and I was like, well, okay, let's play it. Is that happened? Yeah, I mean, it was the day I just got back from my camping trip too. So it was a lot of like, go, 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 pack up, pack up, unpack, unpack, and it was. Um, 
So once we're done with that, Tony's. Uh, whatever time we have left, we're going to be playing more of um, Plastomorphosis. That is the uh, pixel graphics, like 90s retro survival horror style game. Uh, still haven't beaten it yet. It's a, uh, you know, survival horror games uses a lot of backtracking and unlocking doors you couldn't unlock before, so on and so forth. Uh, so intrigued to see where we are in that game because it's been a few weeks and I don't fucking remember, but I really wanted to play it tonight. I figured with some extra time, you know, let's go for it. Uh, so that's gonna be tonight. Um, and then on Thursday, usual time, 9 p.m. Eastern, uh, we're gonna be playing more Bioshock Infinite. I have no idea if we're gonna be beating it on Thursday. Uh, where we left off, I know we were gonna be going after like the uh, like the, the guy who runs the place there. Uh, and we were looking at this big scary building that had like a thunderstorm going off on top of it. And I was like, uh, all right, this looks pretty final. So I think we're in the final act of the game. So it's a good possibility we beat it this week. Um, if not, probably next week, uh, I'd say. And then on Saturday, uh, we're actually going to be uh, streaming a game that I have streamed technically before. It's just been a very long time. Uh, we're going to be playing Portal 2, uh, specifically the co-op mode with Noxler. Uh, so we'll be working as a team to try to solve puzzles. Um, and it is to celebrate nox's two-year anniversary on twitch i'm surprised it's already two years like time really does fucking fly when you're having fun i guess <laughs> love portal 2 awesome choice yes uh yeah he requested that i play that with him and i was like yeah absolutely you're gonna die clown love that have i tried portal revolution i uh, no, i haven't even heard of it um so yes, we got that going on for this week. And then I also let everyone know in Discord and Twitter that uh, next week, um, I don't remember exactly which day of the week it is. I feel like it's Tuesday. Um, I'd have to double check my notes. But uh, we're going to be doing a collab stream with three other CEOs of Screams. Uh, some of you may know a couple of them, maybe even all three. But uh, I'm going to leave that a secret for now until it gets announced officially. Uh, but we're going to be playing the Outlast Trials together. And I'm looking forward to uh, to play with these, these uh, peeps of mine and the CEOs of Screams. I've only actually played a game with one of them before um, on stream, nonetheless. The other two I've not played a game with uh, at all, online or offline. And looking forward to doing that because obviously it's it's such a big team and I'm hoping I could spend more time getting to know some more of these CEOs. So uh, yeah, look forward to that for next week. Uh, you'll get to meet some new faces and maybe find some other really cool content creator out there. Mm. Fan-made maps for Portal. I think it's free on Steam. Oh, that's sick. So I think Portal 2 also has something like that. You can like build your own levels and stuff, but I don't... I don't know how open it is to you to do things versus like someone's fan-made version that could have a lot more to it. But yeah, let me, uh, I'm gonna pull it up on Steam now so I can want to look at it. Portal Revolution. Yeah, free, look at that. The portal mod you've been waiting for. Delve into a new story with original characters, spending over eight hours of gameplay and featuring over 40 new challenging test chambers which make use of new mechanics. Wow, oh, it came out in January of this, January 6th. Overwhelmingly positive. In the last 30 days, it's been 857 reviews, 95% positive. All reviews in, what, six months it's been out? Uh, 18,073 user reviews, 95% overwhelmingly positive. Wow. Fuck, that's cool. All right, I'm gonna add that to my library. I will tell Knox about that too. It does have a story, yeah, I just grabbed it a while back, haven't played it yet. I wonder if it's, um. all right, it is single player, so it's not like I could really do much with it with Knox on Saturday. But that's still cool though, I'd be down to, if 
fucking play that. I loved the Portal games. It was something so different for me. Anyways, uh, oh, I remember that. Yeah, Portal 2 does have it. I think you just load the levels and play. Yeah, so it's a little different. Oh, I'm going to add um, another album to the playlist here, and then we're going to get started. What am I going to put on? There we go. And to play Q. Good. That's done and out of the way. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's already pretty late. I was, uh, I was late tonight. Um, we actually had, uh, Amanda's parents and our niece and nephew over. Um, it was my father-in-law's birthday today. So we were celebrating and then, um, after cleanup and everything, I laid down in bed with, uh, with the dogs and, and the wife. And of course, Tater just wanted to cuddle my arm. And I was like, well, I need to soak up a few minutes of this. Um, uh, it's, it's. Knowing what it's like to lose pets, it really sucks. Um, and I know a lot of people that have been dealing with a lot of uh, pet issues, whether that's, um, you know, medical problems or whatnot. Uh, so it, it, it reminds me to just take a moment and appreciate the time I have right now with these, these animals that are, for whatever reason, really well behaved. They can be annoying, but, I mean, I'm annoying as fuck, so... <laughs> Who am I to say? Anyways. At Tony's. Riz. Welcome in. I'm oh. bad. I'm a bad motherfucker. 42. 42. The answer to universe, life, and everything. Well, I know what's happening next month. <laughs> Tree, thank you so much for the continued fucking subscription uh 42 months it's uh three and a half years holy shit literally from the get-go first stream support your friends fuck yeah brum, brum. law and order says to support your friends <laughs> fuck yeah thank you again i appreciate you my friend and og oh the og he was I think within the first three followers, and he was at my first, like, four streams. One of them was when I played Narcosis from front to back, and he was there the whole fucking time. Ooh. Oh, I think that one mosquito bite I got just decided to be itchy. That sucks. At least I didn't have the hiccups. I started having the hiccups right at the start of stream, and it went away right as we started. Uh, Twitch even. <laughs> oh, I almost fucking knocked my goddamn seltzer over. That would have been rough. But yeah, let's go. Let's go make some pizzas or something. Oh, you fucker. I did it again. I hit the wrong button. There we go. <laughs> All right. Let's uh let's go for it. I did I did all the settings and the V sinks and all the stuffs. Tip. Coffee is very tasty. Thanks for the tip. It begins. I should make some coffee. Okay. Alright, typical walk. Use the mouse buttons to interact in the world left and right. Oh, left click is pick up and interact. Right click is drop. Okay. Oh, so far it's not I can't do anything. Left clicking on everything and nothing. Was I fucking sleeping in this chair when there's a bed right here? No, I had to have been sleeping in the bed. There's no way. <laughs> Computer. Ooh. S note. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, something. Why did it change? Interesting. Password equals PWD. Really? Mailbox. Alright, where do we what do we what's uh it's all the same day, so it doesn't really matter. Checking in Mike Caldo at Outlook.com to me. Hey Joe, hope you're doing well. Something on my mind that I would want to talk to you about. 
I've been thinking about the pizzeria job, and honestly, I still feel a bit uneasy about it, especially with those late hours. You've been watching the news lately, right? You might consider yourself responsible and capable, but let me make this explicitly clear. You don't need to be working there. We'll find another job for you, and you will comply. Take care. I expect a call in the morning. Dad. Oh, okay. I'm walking. I'm walking here. We got Jimmy Falco. Tonight's night shift. Pizzeria vibes. Hey, Joe. What's up, cuz? Time for another legendary night shift at the pizzeria. I know, I know. It's not exactly the hottest Saturday night plan, but hey, it's all in the name of keeping the family biz alive. Here's the lowdown. Dose prepped. So don't need to stress about that. Just head to the kitchen when you're ready to rock and roll, my dude. Oh, and don't forget to load up on wood for the oven. It's been acting up lately. Orders will pop on the computer, and if you ever draw a blank on what goes where, our trusty pizza recipe books on the desktop. I'll swing by the morning to check in. It's going to be a chill night. I also left you a voicemail at the pizza range to freshen up your memory once you get there. You got this. Later, Jimmy. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I can't click outside of the fucking thing, otherwise it, break it decides to just break. Okay, last one. Not spam at all at Outlook.com. Get rid of Y2K and chill. Hey there, are you still using floppy disks and dial-up internet? Jesus. Well, it's time to upgrade to the new millennium. <laughs> Introduce the Y2K Survival Kit. Everything you to investigate the digital world of 2000 and beyond. A CD-ROM with a thousand hours of AOL internet. Say goodbye to that dial-up screeching. A stylish fanny pack with a built-in portable CD player. Keep your tune spinning on the I'm an Italian the go. meatball, yes. What the fuck? So grand and make okay. <laughs> Thanks for the Italian meatball bits. <laughs> A shiny Y2K bug proof tin foil hat. Protect your brain from cyber attacks, aliens, and more. A stack of Millennium bug free stickers. Apply to your devices for instant Y2K immunity. <laughs> A collector's edition. Now that's what I call music. Five CD. Dance your way into the new millennium. Jesus Christ. They're up until... I think they're in the hundreds now. Now that's what I call music uh, albums. Jesus. Don't miss out on the future. Order your Y2K survival kit now and join the techno party. Limited stock available. So act fast. To order, call 1-800-Y2K-LOL or visit our website at, at www.y2ksurvivalkit2000.com. Jesus Christ. And then there's a calculator for whatever reason. Um, all rights have just been invented. Uh, click, okay, ping. No such request found. Uh, hold on. So this is, I'm just gonna check to see if it's the Linux or not. No, okay. Uh, Wow. I don't know what to do on the console. <laughs> All right, forget it. Moving on. Oh, wait. Linux kernel book. Interesting. All right. Uh Oh, phone? Nothing? Okay, nothing. We got to go make coffee. That's right. Oh, yeah, look at that pizza. World news. <laughs> Queen Delorum. Is your business Y2K proof? No, we're gonna find out. All right, there's the coffee. Coffee machine, empty. All right, let's find some coffee. Hey, brand coffee made with real, real schmoll beans. <laughs> we made it with real schmoll beans. That's ridiculous. I gotta get a cup for it, or a mug, as some people refer to them as. We got some smokes. Uh. Wait, what is it going yellow for? That's weird. Oh, okay. Where do we keep the mugs? Or aha. Hell yeah, brother. Hey, it fits. Must be half off. <laughs> Probably gives you a tracksuit. That'd rule. Ah. 
Drink the coffee. Hello? Eek. Oh, fuck that. What are you doing here? All right, well, fuck that. Wow. No curtain, just fucking raw dogs the shower. <sighs> Wait, where's the drain? <laughs> oh no. Benvenuti. <laughs> All right, not much I could do in there. Can't open that door. Sounds like that window's open. So it's a very small apartment. There's not much else I think like I can do here. Do I have to actually go out there? Let me peek one more time. And it's still there. Okay, open door. Ooh, scary, disappeared. When do we make pizza? Uh, apparently when I actually get to work. It hasn't given me an objective yet to do. I guess I'll peek again. Yeah. Does Ghost teach you how to make pizza? Maybe. I'm just trying to figure out what I'm supposed to be fucking doing now. I made my coffee. Drank it. Grab my smokes? No? Okay. Nothing to press around here. Nothing. Just looking for anything where that white dot in the middle of the screen turns yellow, like the computer. But, uh, no bueno so far. That's the bathroom, which we've already kind of looked around here. Not much to do. Can't pull anything out of there. Can't even turn the shower on. Fucking awful bathroom. Uh, all right, I guess we'll just try to leave. Can we? I can't close the door. Okay. So I'm making pizza and cashing on that dot com bubble. Yeah, no shit, huh? With what we know now? Hell yeah. I guess I'm just gonna go to work. <clears throat> yeah, and no, I'll just leave the door open. That's fine. That won't cause any problems. Oh my god, this elevator takes forever. Come on. How many fucking floors is it? Dude, it's been stuck on nine the whole time. Oh shit, okay. Then why didn't it want to fucking open? Alright. Crying out loud. <clears throat> Came in here for a landmark. I'm leaving now. Oh my god. <laughs> Thanks, Noxler's frog bot ribbit. The stove has a mind of its own. Check it often. See, that's a good tip. Oh, we're already here. Rundown for your first night. This isn't what Jimmy sounds like. In the kitchen. We prepped it earlier, so you should be set for the night. Wood is under the oven. Throw in a log to start cooking. When someone makes an order, it will pop up on the computer. You also have the menu there in case you forget which ingredients go in each pizza. All right, that's it. I have to say, because you have some guts coming for the night shift. With all the stories about Tony, I wouldn't want to be there. Anyway, see you in the morning. Wait, who's Tony? Those should be able to think for themselves. I'm the boss of you, Stove. <laughs> Pick up the dough tray in the kitchen. Okay. Was that a graphical glitch? Looks like there was something there for half a frame. All right. The dough. Oh, yep, right here. Sick. Just need one tray. Where do we put it? That's tomato sauce. Oh, look at that. Check the oven instruction on the computer. 
Uh, I think there's a computer back here. Also, shut the fridge. Um, that's the bathroom. Oh, it's like a storage room. Oh god, the fucking power is gonna go out at some point. I don't like that. Pizza margarita. Pizza ham and mushrooms. Pizza rocket and row ham. Pizza with olive. Pizza with worst stolen potato. Authentic Italian focaccia. Bada bing. Bada boom. Well, that's not good. Okay. Um, I must have clicked on that from an angle and got lucky with it, but where the fuck is the computer in this place? Ugh, excuse me. That's telephone, that's a register. That's a men these are all menus. There's no computer here. Is there a computer back here near the oven? That would, oh, yes, it's, uh, it was right next to me the whole time. Hmm. All right. There's the test note thing again. Password is PWD. Any new mailbox things? No. What's this? What? Hmm. All right, so there's no orders. Menu is the Linda, tomato sauce, onion, mushrooms. Pepperoni is tomato sauce, mozzarella, and pepperoni. Uh... Capriciosa, tomato sauce, mozzarella, ham, and mushroom. Uh, Cachoa, tomato sauce, mozzarella, ham, pepperoni. Mamas is tomato sauce, mozzarella, and onion. Forstagioni, tomato sauce, mozzarella, pepperoni, mushroom, ham. Damn. Okay, they did a good job closing last night. Yes. No. Love that. Oven guide. Calor 2000 Pizza Oven. Makes extra crispy pizzas. Fresh pizzas. Wow! Hey! Stinky! Boop! <laughs> oh, shit! <sighs> Boopy! Jesus Christ, tree. Thank you. Uh, thermo gun not included and sold separately. Oh, keep the perfect temperature. Thanks for our thermo gun. <laughs> All right, important safe cards. Reduce the risk of personal injury or property damage when using Color 2000. Big safety precautions should always be followed, including the following. Ready? Read all instructions. You got it. Keep away from children and people with less than 100 IQ. You got it. Do not add any petrol-based <laughs> liquid drip in the oven. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Here he is. <clears throat> Welcome in, Father. <laughs> Thank you for the bits and tree. Uh, so yeah, don't add any petrol-based liquid directly in the oven. Easy. Do not attempt to climb inside the oven for any purpose while it's above 400 degrees. Why would you climb inside the oven if it's ever hotter than, I don't know, uh, 70 degrees? Do not fall asleep while using the oven. Fair enough. These are pretty easy safeguards. I think I can do that. Another one? Thanks again. Please follow the instructions below with action in order to get the best result possible at cooking pieces in your Calora 2000. Add logs inside the oven and light them on. Okay. Check temperature using our temp gun. Ideal cooking temperature between 400 and 460 degrees. Pizzas will cook in 60 seconds at this temperature. Cooking pizzas above 460 degrees is not recommended. Once temperature is correct, add your pizza in the oven. Use a timer to keep track of that cooking state. Okay. Demonstration. Grab a pizza dough, put it there, you pick up your roller, cool. Drop that down, you add your, uh, your, your tomato sauce. This guy's gonna put some ham, some mushrooms, some mozzarella, mozzarella. And then, he already started the fire, apparently. Oh, that's the gun. So you add wood, and that'll make it hotter. 440, much better. Pizza peel, pick it up, slide it on in. And you can start a timer. That's the timer going off. 
So you grab the pizza peel again. Pick up the pizza. Uh, put it in the box. Apparently we're not cutting it. That's crazy. And that's it. Okay. That seems pretty straightforward. Why did that play twice? I don't know. Did you hit go twice? <laughs> All right. Let's see. Do we have any... Uh... Sorry, that's not what I wanted. With the menu over here. And the orders... Or maybe, fuck. There's no orders yet, so... Oh, I can't put that there because I need to be able to fucking press that. Okay, throw three logs of wood in the oven. I didn't have to click, I just fucking move forward. That's great. All right, now I bet you we gotta get. Ready, seven. Linda. Oi, what the fuck is that? Tomato sauce, onion, mushrooms. Tomato sauce, onion, mushrooms. Tomato sauce, onion, mushrooms. Mushrooms, onions. Let's put another fucking log in there, get a little bit hotter. Oh, fuck you, it's not what I wanted to do. 440, perfect. So we grab pizza peel, pick up the pizza, Toss it it. Toss, toss it. Okay. There we go. Okay. The timer. Oh, that timer doesn't stay. And it resets every time. I don't like that. It's annoying. Oh, Linda. Your pizza's going to be ready way early. Don't you worry about it. It's not bad, yeah. <laughs> same, we should stay the same, yeah. It'd be nice, you know. Oh, nice. I actually, see outside. The dial should really be spinning counterclockwise instead it's counting upwards to 59 and then zero but whatever oh i have to click for that okay and then we'll put it in the pizza close the pizza box drop the pizza in the kitchen counter oh i see that's it give the pizza to the delivery guy oh Does he show up at the door right there? Dude, that's hilarious. I'm coming, I'm coming. That's so cool. <laughs> I love it. Uh, all right. There he goes. Oh, phone call. Hello? Hey, cuz, good job on your first pizza of the night. So Thanks. On, you will get orders on the computer. Just take them as they arrive and try to get them all done. Okay. There are some other things I need to tell you. Oh, In boy. the last couple of weeks, some weird stuff started happening. Like kitchen equipment turning on by themselves. And we got a few leaks in the bathroom. If you ask me, I'm sure it's just some goofball who forgot to turn off water back there. Probably. My mother insisted I brief you on this. Simple stuff, really. Just check the kitchen and bathrooms for anything suspicious. Easy, right? Previous guy that worked the night shift, you know? The crazy dude that jumped off the roof said there were some ghosts messing around in the pizzeria. We don't believe in ghosts, right, cuz? No. Definitely not. I don't have a sprint. 
fucking sucks. All right, let's keep all these doors fucking open. All right, can't go in the girls' room. I think that's fair. Men's room. Oh, it's a single toilet, too. What's this? If you ever feel powerless, just remember that a single one of your pubic hairs can shut down an entire restaurant. That is kind of fucked. Thanks for the, uh, the information, though. Jesus Christ. Okay. We got another order. Oh, shit. We got two orders. We need uh, two Capri Cap Capricioses. <laughs> uh, that's sauce, mozzarella, ham, and mushroom. Well, I probably shouldn't do that yet. 39. Perfect. All right, so we need the tomato sauce, the mozzarella, and the mushroom, and the ham. And we'll go ahead and pop this one in. You win, boss. I'm like, hello? Okay. And we'll start dressing this one up. Same thing. Tomato sauce. Mozzarella. Mushrooms. Ham. Right. <laughs> F for no sprinting. Yeah, for real. Alright. Am I supposed to walk around now while that does its thing? Or... We got 30 seconds. I guess I could take a quick little look around the corner. <gasps> oh! That actually really frightened me. I didn't think it was going to be that immediate. <sighs> Fuck everything about that. Please hurry. Look at the size of that fucking one. Oh my god. Alright. Uh. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, wait, I need that again. Get the next one right in. And pizza box. Where's that fucking pizza boy at? Uh oh. Oh, is it a four? It was a four hundred to four hundred sixty. Four hundred, four hundred sixty. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. All right up, come on. Woo! Trash bin. I guess if you fuck up pizzas, you can just do that. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Holy fucking shit. Oh. Holy fuck. Fuck. Ah. Uh, why the fuck was the stove on? I'm right here. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm coming, cuz. Hold on. Let's get the piss out of me. Yeah. Same. Hello? They Hello? didn't read the instructions on not to go into the oven. The new guy. The guy they picked to make the pizzas. Mm -hmm. Noticed anything weird yet? I bet you have. See, I called you tonight because I was almost certain they wouldn't end the night shift. There is nothing more important to the Falcos than money. 
and you are now milking their golden cow. Oh. I used to, well, I used to make the pizzas during the night shift. They probably told you I was insane or other stupid lies about what made me do what I did. There are things happening in this restaurant, and I can help you survive. Well, you could just run away and never look back. If you're even slightly like me, though, you want answers. How about I help you stay alive while you pursue them? Sure. Night complete. Five star. Perfect job. Trash dough pizza zero. Late order zero. Wrong order zero. Correct orders three. Nice. Tip. Into the past. A dream. <sighs> Dreaming in this game? Kind of looks... Ooh. Hey. That, I think this lady was in the hallway before, and I think she was also one that was in the doorway. Nine oh nine. This is literally just a bedroom. Oh, dear journal. In just seven weeks and three days, my fate will be sealed in marriage. Am I enough? Well, I mean, I should be a good wife and mother. He doesn't like talking about the past. He's kind of considerate today, but what if tomorrow? Will I end up suffering like my mother? Could it be the dreaded Falco's curse due to a disheartening marriage and an ill-fated death? I miss our father so much. They all suggest celebrating at the pizzeria for my big day. Even though I despise that place, it's every corner echoes our family's disarray. The bricks may not be the same. They scrutinize me regardless, holding us accountable for past and future wrongs. I ache for him, but resent recalling him in this manner. Sadly, it seems the only way I can. Perhaps, for the sake of one last goodbye, we shall gather there and feast so he could be with us. Annabella. <clears throat> Excuse me. Five nights at Tony's? Yes, essentially. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, great. Annabella? Bad. I'm a baddest motherfucker in the world. Oh shit. Three years, the junk 14 scream, the junk 14 scream, the junk 14 scream. Right, they. I guess I woke up. Elevators are always safe? No, I don't think so. Right, thank you so much. It should be fine. Uh, three years. I should make some coffee, of course. I hope you are doing swell, my friend. Thank you so much for the cons consistent support. Three years, been here for fucking ever. Longest, uh, longest, uh, no, longest. I don't want to say oldest because it's also it doesn't sound right. <laughs> um, most tenured mod. <laughs> oh, we got some new things to read. It's me, Jimmy. Hey, cuz, hope you're doing well. I stumbled upon something pretty cool and I just couldn't resist sharing it with you. I've attached a quick video for you to check out. Trust me, it's worth a watch. Take care, Jimmy. It's a nice way of putting it. <laughs> and Annabella runs with the doll. Oh, yeah, Annabelle. No. Classic. I re-uploaded that video on some random YouTube account of mine that I had when I was in high school, and I think it has like 400,000 views on it. It's the most views I've ever had in any video I've ever uploaded that fucking platform. But yeah, that's a that's a goddamn classic. Unacceptable actions, Mike called him. Joe, I'm not furious about your recent actions. It's downright unacceptable. I've been your sole supporter, guiding you after your mother's incident. This is how you repay me. This is a misguided attempt to challenge me to display the gratitude for everything I've done for you. Your behavior is disgraceful. Reflect on it and don't think for a second that there won't be consequences. Mike Caldo, your best bet against financial trouble. Excuse you. It's me, Jimmy. Hey, Joe, wait for the night shift at the pizzeria. I know something. Oh, wait, this is the... Yeah, that was the, the old... I don't know why this is a copy-paste. <laughs> and it has the 11th instead of the 10th. I'd love if you opened that and it ran somewhere at the computer. Oh, dude, that would have been so fucking funny. Haha. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, interesting. And then, is this still PWD? Yeah. All right, trying to make some fucking coffee. Oh, what a mess. All right, coffee should be up here. Where did I put the coffee? Oh, it's right there. Nothing like changing locations in my kitchen all the time. All right, we're making some coffee. Ugh, must be a ghost. Coffee. What's up, Allie? How you doing, Allie G, baby? Hope you're doing well. I have to grab my car keys this time? That didn't happen last time. Where are my fucking car keys? Oh, excuse me. Where are my khakis? My khakis. Where are my khakis? Brother, you're wearing them. Oh, no, now, now they're in the light. Okay. Juggy jugs, baby. I should get to work. Yeah, you should. I heard you're doing haunted pizza stuff. I am. Oh, see? She's not out here this time. I don't know why I can't shut my fucking door though. Have you played this before, Ellie? I got got two times pretty fucking hard. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Yo. Okay, alright, alright, alright. Yo, hurry the fuck up. Oh, I, hey, 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 what are you doing? What are you, hey, fuck, oh god, oh god, oh, okay, are we making coffee, let's go, give me that donkeys, <laughs> this is my calling, oh shit, This game is fucked. She just crawled on the fucking elevator shaft? I don't have a light. Get me out of here. And hello, sugar, what's up? <laughs> Welcome in. Oh. He's walking here. I clenched my butthole so hard. Yeah, I almost shit myself. Not all ghosts are bad. You know? That one seems bad. I need to get to the underground garage? Why the fuck am I doing this? I didn't have to do this before. Damn, I like the simulation of just getting to the pizza place. So where is it? Underground garage. There's no fucking signs anywhere. Oh, this must be it. Looks like a garage door. No. I literally scared the living heck out of me with that. Seeing the probably since you're too scared to hack me as a kid. Oh, yeah. I know exactly what scene you're talking about. Man with the hook. <laughs> like six feet underground garage. No. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Oh. Oh! What the fuck? Oi! Dude, wake up! I'm gonna beat my ass on the monkey bars. I was just sitting running it out, fair enough. Oh, it's a kid. Precious child. If tears could build a staircase and memories a lane, I'd walk right up to heaven and bring you home again. Oh. I'll push the swing for you. All you have to do is actually you have to kick my ass. 
See? We're all happy. We can live together in harmony. Uh, except I don't like doing this ride, though. It makes me fucking... It's on the merry-go-round. I don't know what you're talking about. This thing makes me fucking nerve, uh, nauseous. Uh, at least we're doing it at a good speed. Walk with me in hell. Where's the pizza? Dead kids. Nice. Yeah, this is the dead kid uh, version. Watch the slide. All right, I'll watch. Nice job, kid. Yeah, I don't have work to get to or anything, so... Yeah, take your time. And you get to the ground garage. Oh, do I? All right. Night. Thanks for scaring the living shit out of me for no reason. You could have just been standing there in the middle to begin with and been like, hey, mind pushing the swing for me? Uh, name escapes me. God. Which way is the right way? Because there's noise this way. Well, there was. But this shining, this blinking light over here is very attention grabbing on purpose. So. The walk in this direction. Where the fuck is the underground garage? Oh, I see. This is supposed to be an underground garage. And enter with or buy card at all times or see agent at 36th Street and 7th Avenue. Okay, well, I'm gonna assume that I'm good to go. I need to find my car. Right click to call your car. All right. Weird lighting scenario. Oh. What is this? Parking garage. Random walls. Yo, I have a nice car. And a little spoiler on it, too. Right to the subway, there, Jesus Christ. What did that last tip just say? Hey cuz, good job yesterday. Customers were happy and we made some money. It's not as good as it used to be though with all the stories about the family. Business isn't booming to say the least. All these ghost stories and now the story with this guy that worked your shift. He said that he started <laughs> seeing the ghosts following him home at night. Like they were not happy he worked at the pizzeria. He was telling customers about it. Talk about bad publicity. Anyway, today you'll have to make some dough as we're running low. I took out all the ingredients already. Everything is in the kitchen. If you somehow forgot the recipe, it's on the computer. The password Thanks. for the file is the year the pizzeria opened for the first time. I'm not going to give you a history lesson as you should know, but I'm a nice guy. I'll give you a clue. Check the storage room. Good luck. Great. Well, I know exactly where it is. Uh, I found the storage room before. Uh, running low, brother, you are out. If you're out of pizza dough, we ain't fucking selling pizza tonight. That shit doesn't just work automatically. Yeah, it's just right here. Um, maybe, oh, right here. 1970 is that 1970 i think it's 1970 yeah it's a big o that dude's got a killer mustache all right so 1970 that's easy enough oh yeah keep this open too no silly business got stuff to do today all right 1970 Ooh. I'll crack open another seltzer. I just finished mine. Ah, Cheers. Oh, shit. Tony just fucking coming out of nowhere with gifting five subs. 
Thanks, dude. Appreciate you. Those go out to uh oh mental torment. He's sitting here right now. Darbu, New Zealand. Nice. Oh, Riz. Awesome. Glitter Daddy 69 and Switch Shinobi. Happy Blade. Oh, thanks, Tony. I appreciate you. Very kind. Falco's though family seeker recipe. So yeah, we're just we're playing uh at Tony's, which is a uh like a haunted pizzeria simulator. It's uh it's been something so far, to say the least. <laughs> Fitting. <laughs> yes. If you do not belong to the Falco's family, please destroy this document immediately. Failure, failing to comply will bring upon you all the wrath of our family. We will sue you, we will track you, and if you don't lose everything you ever cherished by then, we will end you. Recipe, 200 milliliters of water, 1,000 grams of Falco's flour, 20 milligrams of Falco's yeast, 10 grams of salt, and 50 milliliters of oil. Jesus, can I fucking... I'm gonna fucking screenshot that. There's no way I'm gonna fucking remember that. A little baby little box of it, just like that. Yeah, we'll just fucking... Make that real nice and small. Can you please? Oh my word. Let me click and drag to make this smaller. Thank you. Maybe it's automatic. God, I fucking hope so. But if it's not, we're going to have a problem. Uh, No orders yet, so that's good. All right. So let's go make some of this shit. Uh, dough maker's empty, so, oh god, yeah, uh, stove is off. Alright, All right. I, I guess we're just gonna do it like this, we'll just do, where's the wa uh, so water first. I need to make some dough. Oh, you do have to do it. 200 milliliters of water. Wow. Thousand grams of Falco's flour. Recipe for ants. Ah. <laughs> so thanks for the gifts up. Yeah. Tony just flying on in here being a crazy man. Yeast. We need 20 milligrams. Oh wow. All right, there's a 20 milligrams of Falco's yeast. We got 10 grams of salt. <clears throat> and finally, 50 milliliters of oil. Nice. Dough maker's ready. Turn that bitch on. What's going on here, right? We need to cut the dough. Yep, so we put that here, right? Okay, I see. And then we go, cha 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 Yes. And it instantaneously just is just ready to use. You don't have to let it sit. I'll take it to the counter now next to the register. Okay, perfect. There we are. Oh, perfect timing. All right, we got our first order of the day. It is a Linda. The Linda is sauce, onion, mushroom. Sauce, onion, mushroom. All right, sauce. Onion, mushroom. What is our temperature at? It needs to be between 400 and 460. All right, give me another one. Fuck. Another Linda. Okay. Perfect. All right. Give me the peel. Pop them in. All right. 
We'll get the next one ready. Oh, fuck. All right, we got a couple lining up here. I forgot what it fucking was again. Onion mushroom, onion mushroom. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, cool. Noises. This looks like a pretty cool game. Is there a secret horror aspect to it? Does it feel, just feel creepy? Oh, it's, it's, it's creepy. We've seen some shit already. Uh, orders... We need a mama's. What the fuck is a mama's? Sauce, mozzarella, onion. Any bullshit? No, good. Almost there. Oh, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, I can do two. Oh, word. Okay. That's good to know. Oh, fuck. Fuck, what was the mama's again? Uh, sauce, mozzarella, onion. Yeah. Sauce, mozzarella, onion. Give, give me the thing. All right, so this one's gonna come out a couple seconds before, and then it'll come out a couple seconds after, I guess. All right, we're gonna walk, look around, make sure nothing crazy is going on back here. Oh, it's that same graffiti. Don't like that. It's done, ready to go. Thank you. I'm gonna go deliver this pizza to the window. And now, wait a couple more seconds. Okay, now, probably good now. Oh shit, <laughs> wrong button. Yeah, that looks good. Let's go. He's coming around in a minute. All right, just those three. We don't ever have more than three orders at a time. That fucking rules. Hey, yo, give me a mama's over here. I say, hey, Tony, I'm telling you. Here you go, Copernicus. See you later. All right, sounds like a wine bottle broke. Oh yeah. I'll go to the restroom and grab them up. Okay. Don't know why the fuck. There's a wine bottle sitting out with no one here to drink it. Time to clean up the mess. So it is. Do I just walk around? No. Just... Oh yeah, I just keep walking it, walking it. That was pretty easy. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Yeah, back over there you go. Oh. Got a phone call. Back the power in the storage room. Well, I fucking hate this. Glad I have a lighter. Better not be anybody hiding. Seriously, don't be hiding around this corner. I know Kung Fu. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Did I get electrocuted or something? Not electrocuted, but zapped. I was giving me a taco with nothing but cheese in the taco shell. No meat, no tomatoes, no sour cream, just cheese. That's, uh, that's something. Have you ever wondered why there is nobody to be seen in the restaurant at night? Oh. Including you, I mean. The Falcos wouldn't step in the place at night. Did you notice how even the delivery guy wouldn't cross the door? They actually crafted the delivery window five years ago when Vince, the younger Falco kid, was still doing some delivery. Just uncooked quesadilla. Yeah. And they are conscious of the wrongs <laughs> passed down through their family's history and mindful of their own personal mistakes. I know who you 
That's wild. The fact you are working there is surprising to me. You may not have the name, but you do have the blood. Why did you come back? What do you seek? Are we friends or enemies? I guess we shall find out soon enough. By the way, did you start dreaming yet? Yep. I call them dreams, but they're more than that. I do believe that dying there would kill you here. A word of advice when you're walking in these dark corridors. Try to stay in the light. We'll talk more tomorrow. I'm preparing something. Stay in the light, okay. Something that may help you get the answers you seek, or simply bring more questions. Oh. Night complete, five stars, perfect job. No trash doughs or pizzas, no late orders, no wrong orders, three correct ones. Nailed it. Stay out of the dark. Got it. Feels very similar to Mortuary Assistant. So that's what people were saying, is that it's supposed to be like that, but then a lot of this is actually different. Oh boy. Um, so I guess the randomized scares aren't that, it's not actually random. They're still like staged, if that makes sense. Not that way, fuck that. Um, but it definitely has a similar vibe to it. I will agree with that for sure. Did I already come this way? I think I did. I think I'm just supposed to go to the elevator. Oh boy. Again, wish I could sprint. Huh. Go this way. Super foggy. I saw an elevator at one point. Aha! Oh, that doesn't work. Well, fuck. <laughs> Dropped in the food porn channel. Sick. Can't wait to see that shit. Mm hmm. Try down this corner, maybe. That brings me back here. Oh, sick. It's a whole different room now. This is wild. These dreams are crazy. All right, Annabella Journal 2. Dear Journal, only a week remains before the grand day. We settled on the pizzeria for the celebration following the ceremony. I yearn for our father's presence, hoping to evoke even a fleeting moment of joy in him as he once brought to us. Anxiety grips me, overshadowed by my sister's demeanor. Valentina's cries echo through the walls of the bathroom. She shields her emotions there, but her cries, louder than any I've known, reveal her inner turmoil. I attempted to console her, but she recoiled, sharing nothing. I suspect it's linked to her new lover. Their relationship, once radiant, seems to have dimmed in these recent days. I wish I could use her pain and shield her from it. I'll keep trying. I must. Oh, that's a nice sister. Coffee won't keep her away, but it's very tasty. Oh, lovely. Accidents happen. I should make some coffee. Why that password's like that? All right, any ooh, Port Norris final arrangements for Gina, Peace Domain AB. Dear Falcon, was wanting to inform you about the necessary steps we've taken for Gina's final arrangements. As the director, it's our responsibility to handle this matter with respect and care. Following local protocols, consulting with the authorities, we've ensured the proper and legal disposal of Gina's remains. We've collaborated with the necessary parties to carry out this task. Please note that every measure we've taken to handle the situation with almost care and respect for Gina. Our decision aims to provide closure, closure and honor her memory appropriately. During this challenging time, please accept our deepest sympathies. We understand death can be hard and are here to answer any questions or provide additional details if needed. Sincerely... I can't scroll down. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Is that a note on top? Oh no, that's always been that. It's at the owner's manual. It's in a weird fucking spot. All right, where's the coffee this time? Oh, 
Ah, look at that. Now, coffee won't keep her away, but it is delicious. <laughs> Love that. Do, 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 do. Can't do the pizza job without some coffee. Better grab my cell phone before I go. See, now we're not grabbing car keys. Now it's a cell phone. Do we not bring a cell phone the last few fucking days? What we got for movies up here. I just realized that. Didn't even tell. All right, cell phone. Also, these plates have got to get cleaned up. Jesus. Oh. It's an old Nokia one. He's to pick up my laundry. I'm not ready yet. Oh, I, I said physically pick it up. Um, what are we calling laundry today? Oh, oh right across the street. This is just across the street. Know what I mean? Also, can she not be behind me again this time? I'd rather not deal with that shit. Okay, might not have to deal with her. At least right in this hallway. Could deal with her in many other places, but. Ooh. I don't like this elevator anymore. I used to enjoy these elevator rides. Understandable. <laughs> Alright, so across the street's not too shabby. That should be pretty easy to handle. Unless it's like playing blood wash, then it's gonna be bad. Okay. It's better to bring your own money. As opposed to... Put the laundromat. It's across the street. Well, I have to go this way. Is that the laundromat right there? Or is that it way down there in the red? Oh, I bet you it's that. Also, make sure we stay in the light. King Wash, yep. Let's go. No one's following me, right? That would suck. All right. Load washing machine. That's the dryer. All right. Which washing machine you want me to load? The dryers. Ooh, there's another game to play. Oh, okay. Unfolding in our town. Give me the coins. Tonight marks a grim milestone as the prominent packing plant in our community shuts its doors and ceases operations. That's right, folks. The 17th closure in just three short months, leaving behind vacant buildings and silent streets. The downturn continues, with businesses like the packing plant closing down and the local economy on the verge of collapse. On another note, meteorological No progress. Marks the one month anniversary of this eerie phenomenon. This only helps to fuel speculation and ghost stories among our residents. The mayor announced that he would not lift the curfew until the fog is gone. Tragedy has struck once again. Today, the public procession of mourning as the scene of the family of Lucas laid him to rest. A young life tragically cut short by a fatal leap from a towering building. What? Thanks for tuning in. This is Miles. Vigilant as we navigate through these uncertain times. Signing off. 
Where's all the fucking coins? Can't check that door, apparently. Uh, oh, there's some. Oh. I didn't realize they could be on the ground. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess coins do end up on the ground quite a bit. Didn't say to be careful and bring your own fucking money, and I didn't. Why is that door open now? <sighs> Bill, I lost the key to this door. Can you find it by Monday? I think it's in one of the washers. Imagine losing a key in one of the washers and you're not going to go look in the washers to try to find it. Guess I found it. Oh, fuck. Yo, we're close. Come back later. Jesus Christ. Christ. Quit smoking and days. Got their own coffee here. That's good. Seems like an okay place to work, I guess. Oh my god. Of course is a dick drawing. Amazing. Happy color. Oh, black is my happy color. Oh. Locked? Nothing. Nothing. Start the washer. You got. What the fuck? Oh, fuck. Is that one? Oh, oh God, it had blood on it. What the fuck? Just show the doors now. It's okay. Get all the coins that I need. Oh, look at that. A little graphic for it just to show that it's actually working. That's actually pretty cool. I should answer my cell phone. Ow. Oh, because it's... I had to click. Hey, cuz. Sorry for calling you on your cell phone. I just wanted to check in and see how you're doing. You got the email about Gina. Uh, I mean, your mom, right? I know it's been weeks since, you know, but I still can't believe she's gone. I didn't really see my mom's time. dead. Most of oh, my time fuck. Was after the incident with Annabella, and I was very young. Growing up, she was just a happy old woman. I don't know you that well, cuz, but one thing's for sure. I know she meant a lot to you. I'm sorry she had to go the way she did, and that you didn't get to spend much time with her before everything happened. I understand how tough your father can be. And I also respect the courage it takes to go against his authority to work in the family business. It's just surprising, you know? Out of all people, why would you want to come work here? I guess I should just mind my own business, eh? Yeah, Keep that's, a, that's an doing. idea. Yeah. Tip, listen carefully. Great. Unexpected turn. I guess I just wanted to know where you were standing, hoping I could get some words out of you. 
I'm still puzzled about the reason of your presence. Let me give my best guess. You probably feel like your father is holding you from this heritage, this family that should be yours as well. Gina, she was your mother too. Back crazy, sure, but still your mother. And once upon a time, your father's wife, even if that time is long gone. Who wouldn't go crazy after suffering two distinct deaths? First your husband, then one of your daughters. Terrible tragedies that occurred twice in the same location. Jesus. May also explain why your father is so scared. But see, there is more to the story. Annabella, she told me what happened. She shall tell you too, if you're ready to listen. When I was working at the pizzeria, I found a way to talk to her in a more passive manner. It's some sort of ritual. It's a way to communicate with spirits and ask them questions. Oh boy. We left all the props needed for the ritual back in the electric room. I think it's <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ tree. I left there, shut down the power and get I mean, you don't have to, but as I said before, I'll help you get the answers you seek. Are you ready to hear them though? Need to find items for the ritual. Okay. I guess we're just not going to fucking make pizza today. Whatever. Alright, what do we need? Ah! Did you shut down the electricity? Fucking why? Oh, okay. Keep your peepers closed? Oh, keep your eyes closed. Check instructions for the ritual. May you swim in the blood of the shadow. May you live a, life, a full life enlightened by the sun. May the dead speak to you in the darkness. May the truth be revealed by the burning light. One, two, three, four. Thing in the middle. Blood, death, life, balance, truth. You swim in the blood of the shadow. You live a full life enlightened by the sun. Life. May the dead speak to you in the darkness. Death. May the truth be revealed by the burning light. Truth. No balance, though. Oh, I see. Those are the different symbols we have here. One, two, three, four. So in the blood, of the, so this should be blood over here. Uh, looks like it's like a W. That's balance. Uh, two is also a balance. Wait, it's all balance. What's this? Oh, got it. Okay, 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 okay. You swim in the blood of the shadow, so that's number one should be blood. Uh, fuck, which one's blood? <laughs> uh, that's an X with a dot at the top, almost like someone's dancing and they're taking a shit at the same time. This guy right here. That's blood. Got that. May you live a full life enlightened by the sun. Life is just someone like trying to get like a hug. This one. Okay. And then may the dead speak to you in the darkness. Death is like the H. Okay. May the truth be revealed by the burning light. Truth. Be uh the mm, ball bag thing. This sick. Oh my god. Okay, that matters. 
May you swim in the blood of the shadow. Blood of the shadow. May you live a full life enlightened by the sun as too. May the dead speak to you in the darkness. Fury, may the two of you live the burning light. Okay. So we need to shut this one off as well. Okay. I think we're prepared. Can't do anything about that. When did you die? Pick a question to ask. What is your name? Can I look now? Annabella. Okay. Do you want? Hey, baby. Thank you, Tree. I have no idea if they're, if this thing's done looking or writing. Okay, we're good. Vengeance. Okay. What do you want me to do? Excuse me. Excuse me again. Light. I should read the note. This note. Dear journal, how does one bear see people share it during a family? Why my burden was such a dreadful truth. Last night in the stillness, I heard noise from outside. I expect to Valentina sneaking out to rendezvous with her lover. Sir, for my sister led me to eavesdrop. That's when I saw him standing there. What was his purpose? I noticed her slipping away, and everything shifted. Valentina attempted to kiss him. She tried to kiss Mike. She expressed a desire to keep something. A child, perhaps? This revelation could tear our family apart. I can't allow Mike to do this to us. I've resolved to confront him before the wedding. He must depart from our family. Our mother, my sister, they deserve better. Yikes. Closets are all, also always safe. <laughs> Great. Hey, remember, watch for. Oh shit! Oh, I made it. Thank God. Annabella, Journal 3. Dear Journal, I am scared. Today is my wedding, but I can't shake the feeling that something terrible is about to happen. Yesterday, the night after I confronted Mike, he came into my room. The second he entered, my blood froze. The distinct liquor, liquor stench flooded my room, making me nauseous. <laughs> Die! No! He was furious. I was scared for my life. He threatened me. He said he'd destroy me if I said anything to anyone. He said he'd do it again if he needs to. I don't know what he meant by that, and I was scared to know. I need to stand against him for my family. I can't let him go on with this. Valentina deserves better. My mother deserves better. You will be the end of our family. Hide in the clo- Oh, fuck. Annabella? There's no crouch, by the way. Don't lick the walls. You got it. <laughs> the fuck? Bloody truth. Cup of coffee would be nice. Wouldn't it? Brother, you gotta pick up your fucking mess. All you eat is this fucking pizza. You don't even clean up. Jesus. All right.
Where's the coffee? Jesus, what the fuck? Okay. Can I... Where's the coffee? Jesus. There's a coffee mug. Let's just do that. Holy shit. I'll grab my keys, question mark. Oh, and my phone. I'm gonna go to my favorite place. Yeah, work, right? Oh, fuck no. What the fuck? Yeah, don't lick the walls, they said. I fucking hate this. Oh. Cause you know it feels good to know that you really care. It feels good to know that I can relax when I'm with you. It feels good to know I can be by your side. It feels good having you around your rhythm. It show feels good to me. Thanks, Satan. Welcome in, my dude. Hope you're doing well. We're playing at Tony's, which is a uh, lights off and turn. I need to get to the parking garage. The encounter. Going with the Tony, Tony, Tony track there. Yeah. Do you know you're part of the 5% of the population that currently has a cell phone? Some researchers speculate that we'll all own one at some point. I'm not sure about that, to be honest. I feel like we're losing something. Feels like talking to the dead to me. That's not why I called you. I think the ritual... I'm assuming you've already seen a few things that are out of place. Fuck you, tree. This is only the start. A little bit of advice here. As you probably remember from the ritual, Annabella doesn't like to be looked at. If you get in a situation where you're facing her, just turn off any light source and look the other way. That's probably the only way you'll get her to leave you be. Well, that's mostly theory. You'll know if it works soon enough. Oh, great. So foggy and creepy. All right. We've made it back to the parking garage. Maybe I parked in a better spot this time. Oh, you be fucking kidding me. I need to find my car right now. Oh. Holy fuck, dude.
Oh, dude, that was bad. The back door is the safe option. So the chairs fall into place? That was something. Decisions. I know this is important for you, but I have to think of my mother. Yesterday, your father showed up at our doorstep, and he threatened my mother. He oh said boy. really horrible stuff and things he would do to her if we don't fire you. I just think you should know that stuff. Your father can't do that without consequences. I was really scared yesterday, and my mom was too. After he left, she cried all night. <sighs> she seemed so scared. I don't know what he said to her to make her so afraid. You know, it's always been difficult for my mother. When I started working back at the pizzeria, I was happy because I felt like I could finally support her and bring a bit of peace in her life. She never complained or said anything, but I know it's been hard for her to raise me on her own. From the moment I was born, she was all alone, and she never gave up on me. I'm telling you that in hopes that you understand my decision. You and I, we never got too much time together. The way our family pushed you away wasn't fair. You may not be my cousin in blood, but you deserve to be part of our family as much as anyone else. Tonight will be your last night. Just make sure to close the shop once you're done with the orders, and I'll come grab the keys tomorrow. Take care, cuz. Okay. You want to write for it already? Jesus. We better have some fucking dough ready to go. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh. Uh. Oh, wait, I don't need that. I don't even know what that is. No mailbox. Orders. Capricciosa in fucking nine and a half minutes. Brother, we got this. We're gonna make some fucking dough. Okay, remember. 200 milliliters of water. A uh, thousand grams of flour. Thousand grams of flour. 20 milligrams of yeast. Oh, yep. And 10 grams of salt. And finally, 50 milliliters of oil. That's going to make up the dough. Start the oven. Okay. Quality ninety nine percent. Pretty sure I followed at a hundred percent of what I was supposed to do, but you 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 go on with your bad self there. Four or five and number six. Thanks for the dough. Here we go. Oh, for fuck's sakes. All right. We got to Oh, it, oh, we need a mama first. Oh, we need a mama first. Mama is going to get sauce, mozzarella, and onion. A sauce, a mozzarella, and an onion. Sauce, mozzarella, onion. And, oh. All right, so the other ones, we have a six and a seven. Oh, boy. Pepperoni and a capricorn. They have to do them at the same time, I bet. Pepperoni. It's going to be easy, I feel. Sauce, mozzarella, pepperon. Next one, this boy here, the Capriciosa, Capri Capriciosa, <laughs> cannot pronounce that word. Sauce, mozzarella, ham, mushroom. 
No, one at a time. It's not cooked all the way. <gasps> no! I didn't fucking check the goddamn fuck. I didn't check the temperature. Uh, mushroom and ham. Fuck. Now it's okay, motherfucker. All right, that's done. No, maybe not. Fuck. Oh. oh, now it's done. Hey, hey. Just hurry it up over here. That one's done. Sick, sick, sick. We're doing good. We are fucking killing it. I'm gonna go fucking pop this one. Temperature gun. 415, that's good. And one more. That. And above 460. Okay, good. Phew! We're killing it. I mean, it's probably the same. Yeah, okay, so nothing's changed there. I don't understand the need of the calculator on every... I mean, I, I get it. <laughs> All right. Let's go make sure everything's looking cool and normal. Nothing sketch. It's just that fucking thing every time. All right, men's bathroom looks like a bathroom. Can't go into the women's because reasons... Storage room looks normal. Okay. Five seconds left. Hell yeah, brother. That was worrisome. I was really concerned that, uh... I was actually concerned that we were going to fuck that up. Really melon on your last day, Jug. Hell yeah. All right, see you, Copernicus. All right. Ooh, we have another order. Cool. We have a pepperon. And that should be as easy as Sauce, cheese, pepperoni. Sauce, cheese, pepperoni. Let's double check that uh, temperature one more time. 424 is golden. Pop them in. Set them up. Next one is Alinda. The Linda is sauce, onion, mushroom. Sauce, onion, mushroom. Extra 20 seconds for you. Let's check the temperature. Put a plank in there. Good. Okay. Start making more dough. I have a feeling we're gonna need it. Wait a minute. I can't hear if that goes off. Okay. I'm 
And by the time I get this set up over here, this one should be just about done. I think. Almost positive. This is like 20 seconds. There we go. Cool. While we're doing that, thousand grams of flour would be good. Twenty, twenty or the yeast. Get. I don't want him to get pissy at me. As I was saying, twenty o the yeast. Uh, we got 10 grams of salt. Okay. 50 milliliters of oil. I hear you. Okay. Making more dough. We got two pieces left to make. We need a kachoa. I haven't made that one yet. Show it. Sauce, cheese, ham, pepperoni. Sauce, cheese, ham, pepperoni. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Next one up is a... Pepperoni. Two pepperonis, actually. Okay, cool. Hmm. Hurry up. <laughs> Thank God with this instant dough maker. Which went right into there with that. Oh no, I never put the fucking goddamn timer on that. Whoopsie. That's okay. Next one going. There we go. It let's me know when it's done. It's easy. Oh, yeah, okay, we're gonna do that then. Fucking flying, baby. Oh, yeah. Make sure that temperature's still good. 437, perfect. Okay. Two pepperonis are in there right now. Everything looking spiffy around here while we're cooking? Yeah. Just waiting for something to happen. 15 seconds. Oh, that one's done. Brother, I am so good at this game. We got four does left. I don't think I need to make another dough unless we have to do another round of pizzas after this. See you, Copernicus. Didn't you work uh Papi Gino's? Don't you know how to do all this? Yeah. I worked at Papa Gino's, yeah. Sure. My story. My name is Lucas Dimas. I 
started working in the pizzeria a few months ago. It started fine, just like any restaurant gig, if you skip the weird delivery window. <laughs> After a few days, though, I started seeing things. At first, it was just some pans falling for no. Make sure you stretch out those cream hamstrings. Got it. Cold minutes after I would light it. After the first week, she showed herself to me, Annabella. Annabella. So gorgeous, beautiful in her own sadness. I felt driven to learn more about her, to share more time. I was fascinated. How could a ghost make me feel so much? I started dreaming like you did. It felt good. I wanted to feel more. That's when I came up with the ritual. That's her story. What you did to her. Oops. What he did to the family. With time, I couldn't do anything but keep her in love with her. Then one day, she guided me through a dream. At least, I thought it was a dream. Are you clicking cat? After my jump, I opened back my eyes, and I was back at the restaurant. I had a new purpose. She told me to wait, that you'd come soon, and that we needed to show you the way. I'm trapped now, the same way she is. You can still correct it. You have the power to burn this place down. Let us rest for eternity. You can also walk away and abandon your family. So what is it going to be? See you in another dream, friend. Light the stove burner to burn down the pizzeria or leave through the front door. Huh. So we worked here. It's a family. Family sketch ball. Killed my family. Yeah, you know what? We're burning this place to the fucking ground. Fuck this place. No one's gonna ever understand anything about this. Oh, fuck. Back door is always a choice. Fuck. Oh, you bitch! Just <laughs> guitar solo. No tips here. You were stuck in the back of a car. You burned the pizza and escaped. An investigation was opened after the incident. Your father owned this place. He has since disappeared. It's been a week now. It's late and you're tired. You fall asleep one last time. Oh no. Did I choose the wrong ending or what? You yeah. realized what you did? I don't need this kind of heat right now. This is terrible for my business. I shouldn't blame you. It's my fault. I didn't educate you <laughs> properly, but don't worry. Soon enough, you'll understand the meaning of respect. We're going back there and I'm going to teach you a few things. Go back where? Wow. So intrigued if they're going to do something more with this. Because I feel like there's a lot more to dig up in this lore. <laughs> also, Where's endless mode? I want an endless mode for this game so I could just make pizzas all the time. I think that'd be cool. <clears throat> Excuse me. I wonder if I can do continue. Upload. Oh, it does. I can't just go back and do the other ending. Damn, I was hoping I could check the other ending. My assumption is that the ghosts just keep haunting me forever or some shit. Like, it's another dream I have to go do. Um, pretty good game. Pretty good game. Um, I would love to see if they do an endless mode or something like that. Uh, but otherwise, pretty solid. It's a good, good, uh, good experience for four bucks. We got, what, two hours out of that? Yeah, essentially like two hours out of that. Not bad. So now... Now we're gonna go back to a game we have been playing. 
I can close my snap my little screenshot showing me how to make the the fucking dough. Excuse me. I'm gonna play some plastomorphosis. Plastomorphosis done. And uh, well, I gotta update my captures, obviously. Otherwise, you guys won't be able to see or hear shit. Whoops, there were a few minutes of ads. The game is over. Yes. Uh, I basically. Um, I escaped the pizzeria after I turned the stove on the pizzeria exploded and then essentially the mob Like the the family kidnapped me and I woke up in the back of a car And then the credits rolled so not super certain of exactly what's gonna happen there, but yeah, it's I, I wanted to do the other as well um I wanted to do the other ending, but they, uh, they don't let you pick up at a previous load point. You have to start all over again. And even though I know exactly how to get through as quickly as possible, it's still, we're talking like, just time I don't feel like using. Open for a sequel? I don't know. Um, I would love to get like an endless mode out of it just so I could like make pizzas and like a survival mode of making pizzas. Free teas just to get the other ending. Yeah, exactly. So I, I said, never mind. Uh, I just want to turn down the. Okay. Let's uh let's go check out Plastomorphosis. It's been a minute. So this probably looks a little familiar to you now, if you've seen the game. Of course, if you haven't seen one of the I think we did two streams so far with this game. Um Yeah, it's retro style, 90s, like old fucking graphics, pixel graphics, stationary cameras, tank trolls. Excuse me. So obviously a big, like first three Resident Evils, first couple Silent Hills, that's that style really. I'm trying to remember where we left off here. All right, so I know we, I know this is where we ended up, we left off here is where we were actually where we started as well, but we did a lot, we got a lot done. I know that. All right. Can we go this way yet? I know we went down those two different ways. Oh yeah, we were kind of dick around with these. Oh wait, did I open this? The door is still locked. Okay, so there's still things I have to do here. I just don't remember now. Ah, uh, yes. You have to make the different colors. Oh yeah, this game, yes. Uh... 
I thought we had a uh... Oh, yeah, that's right. I remember we did that So we did we made all of the colors For this one here for these four and that did like a half unlock we now have to do I think more of it It's subroutines here and prone for white color plus pick new subroutine Strange QR code. Oh, yeah, that's right. I remember. I remember actually looking that up, and it was real. So, I don't know if I just work on the numbers themselves. So this is camera one report, two report, three report. So like blue, orange, yellow, blue, orange, yellow, red, like this. So we're gonna combine that All right, so we did blue next is orange which is what yellow and red Yellow Red Right. That is somehow orange, even though it looks really fucking red. Camera three is yellow, straight yellow. All right. And the last one. Red. Oh, shit. Fuck. So that sets up the colors, but then what about? I don't know what to pick here. This that's the problem. I have no idea what to do with that. Hmm. Oh yeah, what's this? I'm looking at this QR code again because I don't remember exactly what it was. I just remember it working and I was like, K? There we go. Oh, yeah, it's a Google Drive. It's so fucking creepy. Look at this shit. Six nine six nine six. Oh, no, this is, um, Six ninety six ninety six nine. I think we used that to open. We opened up a, a safe or something like that.
And I don't understand the point of this at the end here. Unless that's actually to go to that fucking link. Why I'm about to try it, I do not know. This is how you all get malware on your fucking phones, by the way. New Voda, V O D A. New city, new citizen, new water. Do you think the sovereign's new brand of water is something you'd suggest to your family? Yes, of course. No, warning, antisocial activity. Let's say yes. Praise be to the sovereign. I'm not answering. Warning, antisocial activity. The sovereign. The new citizen knows that redot serves is the greatest gift. Uh, hacking initiated or injecting message. The greatest gift, yeah. I hope you will read this. I left the key in a hiding place. Look for it there. The sign on the ground. As for me, I am only going forward. There is no stopping me now. I'm no longer the Eva I used to know. I'm something more. I sense it all, all the interweavings of data. I found refuge. They're expecting me and I am waiting for you. Submit form. Okay. I don't really know what that was supposed to do. Um, but I guess we could check out uh, those other pathways. That, well, this way should be clean. In... Is this where all the cameras were, I think? Oh, shit. I didn't even fucking hear you come in, Sevi. Hello. <laughs> I didn't even hear the fucking noise go off because I think it was something like the lightning struck in the game or some shit. Welcome in, my friend. This game is- I don't know why I have to do so much on my phone for this game, it's very strange. Did you hear me scream? Um, I don't know if you've played this one before. We're playing Plastomorphosis, it's like an old survival horror style game. And I'm stuck on this puzzle. I had to like scan a QR code in the game to get some weird Google Drive spot. And then there was a Billy link that was in an advertisement that I had to type in to my phone and it was a Google form. Uh, it's, it's something. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm doing pretty well. How'd your stream go? Tell me all about it. And for everyone else that came over on the raid from Sevi, thank you so much for being here. I'm the Juggernaut, you can call me Jug, Jugs, Juggy, Juggalicious something, whatever, it's all good. Uh, I'm also part of the CEOs of Screams along with Sevi and many others. Uh, hard streaming 99% of the time, 1% some weird stuff here and there. Uh, usually a clone hero game or maybe Biohazard. <sighs> and me belching really loud for some reason. I'm blaming it on the seltzers tonight. It was good to play many games. Ooh. Looks like for Outlast next week? Yes, yes. It's gonna be a good time. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, so what we're doing today, we played at Tony's, which is like that haunted pizzeria simulator game. Pretty good. I think it's a really good start to something that I think that developer could take further. But uh, and we'll see what happens. Um, and Plastomorphosis here is, um, I'm kind of stuck on the story. It's, I, I know it's futuristic in the sense that like, it's a dystopian future and there's like an army that runs things, but we still have to deal with like these weird creatures and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, I'm just thinking the map right now, so this door right here, the yellow brick, is still locked. The key, the puzzle on the left, we we uh, figured out. The one on the right, we haven't quite figured out yet. Still working on it. Um, so we're gonna go do some investigation and see if there's anything I could find that would be helpful that I may have missed. I 
And there were some bad dudes down this way, if I recall. But I think I killed them all? I can either document a terminal response or endeavor to memorize it. Red. How many times did the terminal generate a response? One. That's complete. The total number of recorded responses, one. Okay. Let's see. Green. Green. Three greens. Four greens. Okay. Green. Four. Sick. All right, which one is this? Uh, pink or something? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Okay. Uh, purple. Seven. Okay, and last one, we've got yellow, one, two, two, okay. Yellow, two. Hazardous maintenance, the fuck does that mean? Catch lock from the other side, maybe it's an auto, oh, that's right, yeah. I can't come back up through that way. So, I'm not too sure what the point of that was. Oh, wait. What's this machine thing again? And these notes are telling me... Total number of recorded responses... So maybe that, maybe that will help us. Let's see. The worst thing is that I have nothing. Well, actually, those are letters. Some have numbers, some have letters. You know what, let's keep go let's go over. Let's go over that wall again and see where it, there's anything else over there. I was thinking like those numbers are gonna be what I select for like the run program on the computers for that puzzle, but that is not the case. Hopefully none of these uh, enemies respawned. If they did, that'd suck. Yeah, there's nothing in here that's right. Yeah, we'll save the progress. Why not? Alright, so let's see. So there is another puzzle there. That couldn't possibly have a key anymore because I got that. I think that was actually a key pickup location, which is probably like that. So we'll go all the way around the corner, the other one. Don't blame me, you have to save when you can. Yeah, for real. Especially these old school style of the games, it's like you're just gonna, you won't have any save progress and just completely fuck it up. All right, so that's, uh, that's done. <laughs> all right, we got another one coming up here in the, this side. Okay. This one on the left is also broken. Whatever I did with it, it's already over. I don't remember. Alright, come on. It's just a glow stick. Walk over it. 
And then this over here. Yeah. That door. Wait, that door's locked? Locked from the other side. This door's definitely locked by someone else. I can't help but wonder if anyone inhabited this place. Or to put it differently, attempted to endure here. Right, so that is locked from the other side. So we'll see if I ever get to come through that door at some point. Um, let's see, let's see. Let's take this left. Stop. No. Down here to the left. We got here another one that's broken. And there must have just been a key here or something, because there's nothing I could do here. Okay. Next up is the one all the way down at the end. Yep, another one of those. And then I guess this crate doesn't open. Yep, and then that's how we get back down into here. Oh, right, yeah. We never actually got a fucking map for this location, which really sucks. Because I have no idea. I don't even know if I killed everything down here. We're going to find out real fucking quick, I feel. Oh, boy. I guess there was really nothing down there. Interesting. Yep, because I'm back here again. Alright. So not much I could have done there, I don't think. Four lost souls, yep, I remember that. Nothing else here of concern. Okay, so we handled this side of the map. We'll go try the other side now, just to be double certain. Up, 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 up. Oh, right, I can't actually go that way. All right, there was a puzzle here or something, and it's not of concern now. This is the, oh, this fucking thing's reset. Yeah, those white screens are the things we have to change. And what's weird is like, I think I could do the colors, but the problem is, is it tells me pick new subroutine, zero, O, T, T. It's like, I don't fucking know. I haven't quite figured that out yet. We watch you serve. And then we'll go this way. And I'm pretty sure this, pretty sure this side was cleared as well. Yeah, we'll double check. Every, yeah, there's a green door down there. We'll double check everything here. I'm almost certain I killed everything in this part of the game. All right, here's the, uh... You can check all the different cameras. Yeah, like, I already have that all documented. Uh, actually, I don't, I don't go that way. All right, so over here...
There is something back here, apparently, on the, one of the corners. Yeah, I wonder if there's something down in that fire. But I don't know how I can get down there or not. I really don't think I can. All right, well, anyways. There's two other things up here, which I'm almost positive are probably pickups I already got, or another one of these. Oh, look at you. Oh, wait, I already opened that. That's right. Yeah, because I can't do shit with it now. Okay. So that's that. We figured that all out. All right, let's take a... This way. And all the way down. Everything is in that other room, so check in here. Good, good, good. Okay, that was destroyed. That's right there. And I think I picked something up here, but that's that. I wish you would clear the keys when you've already been to the locations. It'd make life a little bit easier. Oh yeah. That clover key. Good old saving spot. Yeah, there must have been something on that desk with it. Nothing there now. All right. So, the yellow door, I don't know much about. Why well, don't we go check that out really quick before we go down the obvious path there with the green door. That's not it. And, yep, here it is. just not letting me do anything with it and then there should be a pickup thing down here at the end I'm almost positive that it's not an actual puzzle yeah it was one of these things yep and then the other uh, sign all right we'll double check this green door down here but I'm, I there's got to be a way to figure out that other puzzle. Okay. I guess I can't go this way anymore. All right. Well. That just made things a bit more interesting. <laughs> oh, I thought there was something in there. I was like, what? And uh, no, not a... All right, so nothing super helpful or exciting down this way. Everything's been cleared. No, no one's alive. Head to bed, have a good night. Yo, Tree, have a great night, my friends. Hope you have a great Wednesday tomorrow. I'm sure I'll talk to you at some point. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I have to go through this gate. That's right. See, like, that side we just came from over there had all of these things, and then over here to the right, we have, I found these bits of information. It's one red. 
So we'll do this. We'll do. Oh, it's already red. Use. It says pick new subroutine. And it's one red. There's two T's. An O and a zero. I don't. I, I don't really understand. All right, then we have green four. Uh, to make green, uh, first I have to undo that. We need a blue and a yellow to make green. All right, now green four. TFFS, brother. <laughs> None of those letters are in the word green. Uh, and the word four has an F, but there's two different Fs. I guess I'll just do F. Oh yeah, wait, one, O-N-E. Maybe that's what it is. I mean, that'd be pretty cool, because then that means we can move forward. Oh wait, no, hold on. I don't want to do that. Um, so, terminal report three, seven, and it's purple. There we go, use purple. Or violet, sorry, Jesus Christ. Violet seven. Nine. Violet seven. Two S's and an E. Uh, I guess we'll try with one of the S's first. I don't fucking know. And last but not least. Oh, excuse me. Holy fuck. That came flying out of me. Last but not least, Terminal 4 report is a yellow 2. Fuck you, dude. Keep fucking that up. Come on. And that needs to be purple, because I'm dumb. Green was four. Red, I had an O for one. All right, this was, yellow is two. Could be either. Seven, let's try E. Dude, I have no idea. I'm really confused by that puzzle. Oh, this is where we came up from, that's right. I was like, what building is this? Hmm. 
Same door, dummy. Chug it, chug it, choo choo. Won't budge. know what to do at this point I don't think yeah cuz I'm back here else I can do here. I guess I'll hit save for now. Man. I'm trying to fucking put this together in my head. What would I be setting it to? One four seven two. I just, I just don't know. city new citizen oh you know what I wonder I wonder there's something different here Yo, what's up, Wheeler? Welcome in, my guy. I hope you will read this. I left the key in a hiding place. Look for it. As for me, I am only going forward. There it's... There's no stopping me now. I'm no longer... The Eva I used to know. I'm something more... Sense it all, all the interweaving, all the interweavings of data. I found a refuge. You're expecting me, and I am waiting for you. I just, I don't know how this puzzle's supposed to work. I'm convinced you get the colors right. We move them off of white to the colors they need to be. But then it says, the terminal's not activated with subroutine of zero and program for white color impulse. Pick new subroutine. And it's either the word zero and O or T and a T. Like I'd assume because these buttons are the same that it's definitely not that. And like,
And then the number here was uh Shit, what was it? Four. Yeah, F O U R or W I T E. Uh, go with T, I guess. Let's... This was seven. Like it has to be E because there's two S's there. There's only one S. And the last one is yellow, two. Why don't we get these colors down right again? All right, first off, it looks like we have purple. So we'll just drop that here, or excuse me, violet. All right, number two, green. Yellow and blue to make green. Use it. Hello. There we go. Which one is one? Red. Red, green, violet. I think yellow is the last one. Yep, yellow two. Okay, so these are the colors. That's what it has to be, right? Based on the notes that we have. Terminal one reports red, red, green, violet, yellow. Red, green, violet, yellow. Got it. Easy enough. One, four, seven, two. So I guess this would be a T. It had to be an S for seven, right? I did it. Holy fuck, okay. Oh, Jesus. Can I go in now? The door is unlocked, allowing me to enter the warehouse. I have a sense that I should prepare myself as I'm uncertain about what might be awaiting me inside. Ooh, save game. I can't get anything else. Path to freedom, question mark? <coughs> There's some pickups everywhere. I finally found someone alive. Uh, hello, can you help me please? I was nearly killed and I'm injured. What the? Oh, fuck. Deuce, take it. Oh, fuck off. This is behind a locked door? I'm gonna let it clip. Med kit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, the awful click noise. Uh, excuse me. Oh, what the fuck? I was definitely out of that way. 
son of a bitch. And you died. Continue. So... I only have those four shots. I figured him laying on the fucking electricity was gonna be helpful. I guess not. Oh, fuck off, dude. I don't know what the fuck that even was. Oh, God. I already have this weapon. Maybe I can extract some ammo out of it. Okay. Oh, just sick. No! <laughs> I probably should heal in between these times so that I don't just have to restart all the time. It's over. All right. So recruits from Soldiers of Sovereign, Plastomorphs, Type Stalker, can suddenly change their behavior. Nexus Tower scientists are s still investigating possible causes for this anomaly. Behavior can change to the point of frenzy with aggression. Report any of such occurrences to the Bureau. Failure to comply is criminalized as suspect of any social activity. Brother. Open this door. Oh, fuck. Oh, he's on it. He's on it. Go, 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 go. Please tell me, oh, I didn't do it. Fuck. All right, so that's a problem. Uh. Let's equip the pistol and hopefully that knocks him down. Oh, you fucker. I just picked up that med kid too. All right. There you go. Six fucking shots to do that. What the fuck, dude?
many shots? I have eight shots left? Jesus Christ. Oh, I know. I got more clips there. Guy just keeps coming. Hacks, hacks. Yeah, I gotta, um... I have to time it right so I can hit him with those shots and he falls onto the electricity. It's not as easy as it looks. See if this works. There we go. You just gotta look at them lined up and with a couple of early shots. Finally, I'm not getting chainsawed. Got the key. Let's go. That fucking boss fight was a little difficult, but we figured it out. Oh, whoops. Yes. Sick. Now what? Oh, save game immediately. Ooh, we have a map. Uh, uh. Uh, okay. So it's just like a straight shot. So I don't know what those fucking machines even do. Something's lit up over here, though, I think. Yep. Ah, another teddy bear! I'd look for anything that sparkles anywhere. That's how they usually help you out. Uh, there's only that there, okay. <laughs> boo, 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 doo, boo. Nope, can't go around it that way. Okay. Is there something there? No. Making shit up. Why can't I? Oh, this fucking thing's in the way. What the fuck am I to do here? Oh, just go through the other way, I guess. Alright, so we got some company here. Oh! You mean? Oh. Hey, hold on, I could probably help you. Where is my daddy? Okay. Was that boy also at the Metro District Station? This seems a bit strange. I should consider coming to him and locating the authorities. It's not safe to wander alone in this area. I mean, I guess so. Car severely damaged, almost beyond recognition. I'm certain if anyone could have survived such a serious accident. Okay. We move forward down the road. Okay. Nothing special about those cars. We have these little uh, barriers set up. Oh, it's a fucking helicopter. Hey, hey there, I finally found someone. That's not good. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Wait, no, what are you talking about? I'm not a monster. I went to them myself and managed to escape. They created that metro station, that much I can affirm.
Oh, fuck. What the heck? What are you saying? Wait, let me explain. Can we, can we go? I want to run away. Oh, okay. That's not good. Did I survive that? I did. Am I dead now? Oh god, no, I did not survive it. What is this? First person now. Limbo? Yeah, maybe. This is unbearable, I can't breathe. Oh God. Now where am I? Huh? Am I dreaming? I have no idea what's going on right now. Where in the world am I right now? Good question. I'm completely unsure of my whereabouts in this place. It radiates a distinctly grim uh, ambiance. I'm sure I, I ought to investigate and figure out what's going on. Sounds good. Alright, so we are fucking hurt. I have nothing except for three teddy bears. Big scissors. I don't throw any material no matter its size. No? Okay. Okay. Protect with the pin password lock. Enter the access code on the keypad. No. I don't know what the fucking goddamn shit is gonna be. Won't budge. Okay. There's VHS play on the table. Okay. I don't have a tape to play on it. Gosh, where is it? Pain. I really need to find some medicine. Okay. It's a telephone. I'm uncertain about who could call who could call or if it's even functional. No, nope, guess not. Alright, let's save it really quick. What the fuck? Blood has filled the bathroom, and though it's unsettling, I can discern something lying at the bottom of the bathtub. Examine. Is that a fucking body? Oh wait, no. What's that? What did I just pick up? Let's see. Evidence bag. Bags like these are designed to hold potential evidence that could incriminate a criminal. Question means why was this particular bag present here? It's a good fucking question. Yeah, there's no numbers on it for me to call or anything like that. 
teddy bear has nothing crazy, but just a bunch of patches. Mm. Damn, I don't know what to do here. Unless there's something special about this that I'm not capturing. Well, guess not. One second. Turn my little fan on over here. Ah! There we go. Yes! Give me some air movement. Okay. So, we have a pin code lock. We have this jewelry box type thing with the ballerina going on. We have a VCR. I... What did I just do with the scissors? Nothing. The scissors worked there for a second or on the VCR player. I don't know why it allowed that. Are there any fucking phone numbers in here I could call? I mean, that's not going to work anymore. Unless something in that form, I feel they've had mine running. <laughs> Unless this one had a phone number in it, but I don't think it did. No. Hmm. Interesting. I cut the evidence bag open and it has a cassette in it. I didn't think about doing that. I was trying to put the scissors in the bag. Okay, we're on our way. I gotta put it in. It does make sense. <laughs> Play. Should I go ahead and watch it? Yeah. The new citizen knows that research is the greatest gift. Praise be to the sovereign. The new citizen appreciates the comforts of the city. Oh, three, four, two, eight, six, nine. Three, four, two, eight, six, nine. Three four two eight six nine. Thank you, Click and Cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they really push that on you. Praise be to the sovereign. I'm gonna try it on the telephone first. I'm curious. Three, four, two, eight, six, nine. I loathe the school riddle immensely. 
immensely. It proved to be such a challenge that our entire class, despite dedicating an entire hour to it, couldn't find a solution. I'm uncertain if my words are resonating with you, but perhaps this enigma will engage your mind and help you grasp the situation. Okay. Now let's dive into the riddle. Pay close attention. Four digits hidden from sight. A mystery of riddle in the shroud of night. Decipher their meaning, the key to the door. To enter a realm never seen before. The digit that doubles itself with grace in Fibonacci's order it finds its place. The first of all odd and renowned start, its square and square root a work of art. Unlock the door with these clues in mind, the path to the new reality you'll find. Mystery unveiled and adventure begun, in this enigmatic journey we become one. I think each line of the verse means a number code and I generally hope I am not mistaken. The digit that doubles itself, the digit that represents the position of the previous lock code digit in the Fibonacci sequence, the first odd number, and the square and square root of this digit is the same thing. What the fuck? Okay, so who's good at math? The digit that doubles itself? I think it's, isn't that one? I mean, I feel like that's a digit that doubles itself. Like, to get from one to two, you have to double it. So I guess that's a one. The digit that represents the position of the previous lock code digit in the Fibonacci sequence. I don't even fucking know the Fibonacci sequence. I just know it's a lot of shit. We just appears twice, maybe you're right. Um, let's see. Fibonacci sequence. The sequence follows the rule that each number is equal to the sum of the preceding two numbers. The Fibonacci sequence begins with the following 14 integers. 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21. Yeah. So yeah. So it's 0, 1, 1. Because 0 and 1. Yeah. Okay. So. This represents the position. So the digit that doubles itself is 1. Because one plus one equals two, and it never you never see that again in the Fibonacci sequence. The digit that represents the position of the previous lock code digit in the Fibonacci sequence. So that's what's first. And that would be zero. So one zero. The first odd number is one, so one zero one, and the square and square root of this digit is the same thing. Is that also one? Because huh. one squared is one, and the square root of one is one. Yeah, so I think it goes one. Is it one zero one one? Are we fucking serious? That'd be funny as fuck. There's no zeros, you son of a whore. Oh. Is it all ones? All right, so you can only put four digits, which make, that's good. All right, so let's go back and or did you just hit it from sight of mystery riddle in the shroud of night? Decipher their meaning, the key to the door to enter a realm never seen before. The digit that doubles itself with grace in Fibonacci's order, it finds its place. If, it, if it's all ones, I'm going to laugh because of how ridiculous it is. Yeah, it's not, unfortunately. It finds its place. The first of all odd, a renowned start. It's square and square root, a work of art. Lock the door with these clues in mind, the past and new reality you'll find, a mystery unveiled and adventure begun, and this enigmatic journey we become one. And they even say, it says one there. I think each line of the verse means a number code, and I generally hope I am not mistaken. Digit that doubles itself is one. Digit that represents the position of the previous lock code digit, the Fibonacci sequence. First odd number, one. 
square and square root of this digit is the same thing. Uh, well, I guess I could confirm. What is the square root of one? Square root of one. It's one. What is one squared? One. So that's definitely one, right? On uh, plastomorphosis. Uh, Fibonacci sequence. There we go. And it's not going to help me. <laughs> uh. So, this is so weird because it feels like it would be all ones. The digit that doubles itself. The digit that doubles itself. Maybe two triple one. But it doesn't double itself though, because two because in the Fibonacci sequence it goes zero, one, one, two, three, five, eight, thirteen, twenty-one. Like none of those are doubles. The only double that works is from one to two. I mean it's worth a shot. No. <sighs> hmm. The digit that doubles itself has to be one because it shows up twice. The digit that represents the position of the previous lock code digit in the Fibonacci sequence. So. I'd have to be one. Digit that represents the position. Oh, I misread that. Uh, hold up. So it says the digit that represents the position of the previous digit. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh, it's five. Because the positions one, two, three, four, five is is the values of zero, one, one, two, three. The next one is five. So the digit that represents the position of the previous digit in the Fibonacci sequence, that is five. So it's one, five. First odd number is one. One, five, one, one. And we got it. One, five, one, one. What? See, so yeah, last watch today, my job was to say, I'm looking forward to the free time. Got a giant backlog of video games to get through, including a couple I won on contests here in the stream. Nice. That's what we like to hear. So let's see. Why didn't, now, why didn't that one work? The dish that doubles itself in the Fibonacci sequence is one because it's one plus one equals two it's doubled that's that's got to be a confirmation right like no other numbers in the fibonacci sequence i think add each other up like that so murder house narcosis and hidden deep all oh, all good all good games the digit that represents the position of the previous. Oh, wait. The digit that represents the position of the previous lock code digit, Fibonacci sequence.
Oh, technically that's two. But I think we did one, two, one, one already. Because the first odd number is one, because zero is even. And also, it couldn't possibly be zero, because there's no zero selection. So one is the first odd number. And the square and square root of, the, of this digit is the same thing. Yeah, that's still one. So like, is it one, two, one, one? I feel like we already did that though. I have no idea. Four one one. Well, two doesn't double itself though. It's two plus one is three, so it's, that's not right. The digit represents the position of the previous digit. I don't think that works either. Does that be one, two, three, four? No, because the, the fourth position is a two and the next one is a three so that really wouldn't work unless it needs to be a well it's this that represents the position of the pre oh okay the digit that represents the position of the previous lock code digit So that should be a two because the digit that represents so the position of the previous lock code digit is a one. We've said that already. So it's one, and then what digit represents the position of that one? And that's going to be either two or three because there's two ones in there. So it's two or three. We already tried two. First odd number has to be a one. And this yeah we know we, we know what ends in eleven. So I'm going to say one three one one and see what that does. God damn it. Oh, right, I forgot there's a, there's a puzzle thing here. Oh, I did not try six nine six nine. Uh, clicking cat. Apparently, you are correct. It is two four eleven. Oh, you know, because you know what? I think it's trying to say which. So it's not saying which actual value, but which position of that first one. So it's zero one one two are the first four digits. So zero one so cause zero to one is zero plus one. That's not a that's not a doubling itself. One and one is, but that's already in the that's the second technically. God, that is bizarre. Four, I guess I, do I understand four? One, two, three, four. Oh yeah, cause, mm-hmm, okay. All right, all right, all right. I don't think I totally understand what they're going for there, but I'm glad clicking cat caught it. <laughs>
It's a guest book of a proto world motel. Rather peculiar name. Pages are smudged with bloodstains, making the text nearly legible. However, one entry can still be read. The four was a guess. Nice. The Supreme One, as he referred to himself a while ago, upon reopening the grand portal on the top of Nexus Tower, through which the dark energy of research flows again, choose to adopt the title Supreme Sovereign, or simply the Sovereign for short, just to ensure that everyone on the continent, and particularly in modern city, recognize the one who wielded the ultimate power of the universe. Okay. What the fuck is that? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> this book contains only what remains legible. Certain lines have been emphasized with red ink. In this riddles game, cards in hand we wield. The open doors where hope and joy are concealed. And arrows guide, speed and direction unite. And melodies we follow to find our heart's delight. Cards and rows are riddled to embrace. At the bottom, turning direction finds its place. In the top row, tarot holds the key. A game of cards where mysteries breaks free. What the fuck? Back right with the pin patch, like enter the excellent. Oh god. Give me a minute before I try to open up another fucking door. Oh, another one of these. Reminds me of a scene for Pontypool. Oh. Pontypool was a solid movie. So those are the tarot cards. Tarot cards, however the fuck you pronounce it. What is that fucking noise? Oh, boy. There's something on the table. Take a closer look. Yes. Okay. Cards in hand we wield. The to open doors where hope and joy are concealed. And arrows guide speed and direction unite. And melodies we follow to find our heart's delight. Pre-law flipper. Hello, welcome in. Uh, I'm going to take a guess that you probably came in from Sevi's stream. And if not, either way, welcome in. Uh, we're just in the middle of trying to get this puzzle figured out at the end of stream here. An arrow's guide speed and direction unite. At the bottom, turning direction finds its place, and the top row, Tarek, holds the key. Okay, hold up. Does that reset it? Okay, it does. To open doors where hope and joy are concealed. Arrows guide. Speed and direction unite. Melodies of fall to find our hearts to light. Cards and rows riddle to embrace. At the bottom, turning direction finds its place. And the top row, Tarot, holds the key. Turning direction at the bottom. Terror holds the key at the top.
I don't know what those other cards are down there. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on here. <laughs> How the fuck is that gonna work? I need to look at this. Oh, it's the fucking... Yeah, it's world. Um, so I thought that looked interesting. So this one, that's tower. You have to look at which way it's turning. So it's turning clockwise tower. Counterclockwise death. And then this one here. Well, that's a lot faster. That's on the Hermit going counter. But where's the other one? I said there's supposed to be a fourth. Well, I guess if you have all three, you can... Oh, okay. Didn't realize you were still awake. Okay. So... The order is interesting though, because I don't know what the order is supposed to be. Range the cards on the top row with the corresponding tarot cards, and on the bottom row according to the direction speeding and other cards. Oh, we don't have it yet, okay. All right, so apparently we're supposed to go and find the information of the tarot cards later. Dang, I guess you follow the cards kind of like a chart. Yeah, I think they're supposed, so something's interesting about this, I th oh. Look at the fucking handprints. That's three, three, two, five. Three, two, five or three, five, two. There we go. The manual with instructions on operating the music box while several pages are missing a fragment remains use buttons like this to control the toy align your desired speed and direction with the arrows image on the button as the number of arrows are split on the button image increases the speed at which the toy spins also escalates right i i figured that it went out press the button one more time well unfortunately the rest of the text is obscured by bloodstains making it unreadable Uh, I need old projector film reel to activate this. Okay, let's go find it. Oh God. Oh, there's another fucking lock. An attempt to unlock it? Yes. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hmm. Oh, that's upside down. So 
So it would be three, three, six, one, two. Oh, you know what? I just realized what that is. Hold on. It's one, two, three, four. That's the order, and that's the, the fucking numbers of the pillows. And it's just reversed. So one, two, three, four, right? Yeah. Okay, let's see if I can do this. One, two, three, four. So that's, uh, five, four, five, four, one, three. Am I also looking in the right? I think that's right. Oh no, I did a mirror flip. I'm dumb. It's supposed to just go down like that. So it's one, two, three, four. Okay, I got it, I got it. It just took me a second. Four, four, five, one, nine. Wait, I'm sorry, no, four, four, five, one, nine. I think that's right. That sounds, I feel better about it. Four, five, one, nine. Four, five, one, nine. Yes! Let's go. What's in here? Old projector film reel. Of course it is. And it's the... It's the last one. That's the world. And she's quickly going clockwise. All right, let's go turn the projector reel on here. Yes. Ah, I've got to figure out this display. What's the first image and what does it symbolize? Uh, first one is death, it looks like. Okay, what's the next second image? Uh, that's the hermit. And next one is tower. And world. Unveiled image, the sequence of tarot cards. Death, hermit, tower, world. Okay, so we got that done. So world goes last, because that's it right here. Which is clock fast clockwise. the tower. I already forgot the fucking order. Death. Alright, so we'll do death, hermit, tower, world. Alright, so death is counterclockwise slow. Hermit's in the other room. Nice. Alright. Hermit counterclockwise fast. Nice. 
Now we need tower, which I think is right here. That is uh, tower counter slow. And then last but not least, this is uh, world clockwise fast. Okay. So the first one we already said was uh death and that's counter oops counter slow and then permit counter fast which is that one and then we do tower and tower is counter slow and then finally we have the world clockwise fast. Let's go. What the fuck? Oi. Tarot holds the key. Let's do it. I'm gonna oh, is this a med kit? It's a flare gun and a walkie-talkie. I've been monitoring our guests closely. Their mind has conjured a new reality to shield them, drawing on the Reeser's dark energy. It's both fascinating and concerning. So what's the plan? How do we guide them through this self-created maze? How dangerous is it for them in there? The risk is significant. The challenge lies in the obstacles to find erected within this altered reality. This is rare that someone who absorbed so much Rasur's dark energy can create a safe space. Yet it is possible to do so. Such places called proto worlds. I'm upside down. They seem to be born from the depths of the mind. As if a wish has materialized into a new reality. Huh. It's fucked. This is not good. If only Jesse was here. She was a true expert at RAEA. It's alright. We have a chance to save them. I'll try to. I'll try to create a direct link between us. I'll guide them, gently nudging them towards self-realization, without disrupting the delicate balance of the uh, reality. All right, keep me updated on the progress. A and Ava? Yes? Take care of them. They're no longer just ordinary citizens. If they survive this, they'll become our ally against the Sovereign itself, just as you're doing now, Ava. I understand. I'll proceed with caution and care. Perfect. Mind bending procedures. Flare gun. Brother, I need some fucking health and a save point like you fucking read about. This is madness. What is this place? In this conversation on the radio device? This can't be real. This can't be real. This can't be real. This... I need to focus. Hell yeah. Player gun powered by Reeser. Stark Energy uses no conventional ammo. It's crucial to reload after every shot to avert overheating and exploding out of the gun.
I don't know if I even fucking have any flares. You know what? I think this had an eyeball over here somewhere. Yeah. Gosh, am I missing my motorbike right now? Look at this. The bike in front of me could be a twin to mine. Too bad it's all rusty and dusty. I doubt it would even start. And I can't even take off my helmet. I was literally s snatched while riding my moto by those soldiers of Sovereign who just stopped me and forced me onto that train. This helmet's the only memory I have left of my precious bike. Feels like a total joke being treated like some sort of surf or something. Surprised I haven't found a... I haven't found a place to save yet. Alright, so are we friends or not, bud? Get over here. Hey. Save point. Just in time. Was this one on the ground right there? No, it's just paper. Okay. Location unknown. Sick. Oh boy. It, yeah, this is, there's a lot going on here. Yeah, um, I'm gonna call it a night here. I believe this is like the last chapter of this game as well. So we're really getting close to finishing this up. Um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna wrap up stream because it is uh, almost twenty past one. So I we just about pulled four hours, I think. Where's the timer on this? Oh, three forty four. Nice. Anywho, game's fun. Still very much enjoying it. Let's see if I could just quit out of this really quickly. Nice. I'm gonna keep drinking, and playing video games. Hell yeah. Yeah, thanks for hanging with us, everybody. Satan, clicking cat, mental. Ooh. Everyone else that slid in. Um. Interesting. So yeah, this is the last, the end of it. Uh. Yeah, there's a couple of puzzles left in the game and that's it. Like this is the last section. I think the problem was it just took me, the, the second section there, the industrial block area is such a big fucking spot. It's like a huge spot of the game. Whereas the Metro block underground station in the beginning kind of went by relatively quickly. But it just took so, so long to get through part two. Uh, uh, alrighty. Let's wrap this shit up. So, um, let's get the raid messages up and ready while I go figure out who the hell we're gonna raid tonight. And I hope you all can join me on a raid because I do like continuing the party the best I can. Let's see, Demon's on playing a Remnant 2. Uh, Nox is playing Remnant 2. Oh, we got Butt Cheek is playing Killer Clowns. Gigi's playing Killer Clowns. 
Uh, Naldo's playing Resident Evil 2. I think it's that uh, the random one again. You know what? We haven't rated Butt Cheek in a fucking minute. I think that's the play. Yeah, I think, th I think that's the play. So uh, let's go over this stuff really quick. So first and foremost, you will see at the top of the screen uh, of chat and also at the very bottom as well, uh, that is the raid message for subscribers. If you are a subscriber, you can use that. Everyone else, feel free to use the, uh, the raid red pickaxe um, or any other emote that you have access to. It's all good to me. Uh, also, if you want to help out with the socials, uh, or sorry, if you want to help out with the channel, uh, please, 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 let's uh, ju jump into those social links, and if you could, if you could, drop me follows there, subscribes, whatever it happens to be. YouTube, we post our VODs from here, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Tuesdays and Thursdays, I post a YouTube a YouTube short. Uh, if you prefer your short form content being on TikTok, well, I'm also on TikTok and found out recently, I actually have uh, live access now, which is wild. Um, so I, I haven't quite gotten the chance to really look into simulcasting or anything like that. So, oh, excuse me. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god. Um so yeah, so we have uh those two kind of linked together. Uh the other two, we have Twitter or X. That is uh you know, if you use Twitter or X, you already know what it's all about. Go ahead and join me on there. Uh last but not least, we have Discord as our home away from home. Uh if you have a spare slot to join another discord server ours is pretty chill gotta say uh we have all sorts of things going on all all the time we've questioned the day bot we'll have community game nights we have watch party nights um we watch wrestling in there generally hanging out uh and i'm eventually one of these fucking days i'm gonna actually go through with uh having uh streams on only discord no twitch uh playing fallout since it's kind of a horror adjacent game so yeah that's exciting um so uh, yeah if you have, if you haven't joined the discord yet please do so uh and meanwhile while i sat there stumbling over my outro uh butt cheek actually fucking raided out to noxler So uh, I guess I'll go to Gigi instead, who's also playing Killer Clowns. And I have a fucking ad, son of a bitch. It's, it's a pre-roll though, it's like 30 seconds. So with that said, why don't we kick off this raid? We'll get over to Gigi Grotesque, the ghoul himself. Goth Poppy. <laughs> Okay, raid's kicking off. Again, thank you all. Grab those raid messages. Get ready to jump over into this raid. Gigi's on. Uh, he's not. He's not in his full character, but uh, he's still on. He's playing some killer clowns from outer space, which that game's funny as fuck. Um, I'll definitely be trying to play more of it in the future for sure. <sighs> oh my goodness! All right. Yeah, I'm gonna wrap this shit up. I'm done. Uh, I'll see you all on Thursday for Bioshock Infinite, and hopefully, hopefully we have some good news from that. Uh, like, maybe we'll beat it. Maybe! And then we'll be done with the Bioshock series until that new one drops, whenever that happens. <laughs> all right, I'm out. Go hang out with Gigi. Drop him a follow if you dig that content. If you don't, get the fuck out of there. It's all good. Catch you all Thursday. Goodbye.